<laughs> if it's no limit, it's fine. Welcome to the PTT PLO series. We are coming at you live from Las Vegas, the Coco Studio to be exact. The Triangle Room, to be even more exact, this is event one of a 10 event series. It's a $5,100 buy-in event. And look at that, Donnie Peters. This is the newest addition to the Poker Go arsenal of streaming options, our brand new Triangle Room. My name is Referee Kamada. As always, Donnie Peters alongside me. We got a thrilling final table for you as we take a quick look at the chip counts here right off the bat. Jim Colopy, three-time World Series of Oka bracelet winner. He has a massive chip lead coming into this final table. You can see the other names on your screen. We'll dive into all of that and much more. But first, let me just welcome everyone watching on Facebook, on Twitch, and on YouTube. Here are the payouts, 150K up top, 43K guaranteed for these final six. And you saw there on screen, we had a amazing turnout for the first event in this series. Ah, you have a microphone. Uh -huh. It's not nice, in bro. the air. 172 you know entrants, six players know remaining. <laughs> and uh, there it is, Donnie. The first ever hand <laughs> dealt inside the triangle room. You love to see it. You really do. Absolutely. PGT PLO series number two, going strong. Some this event though. drew some good numbers. Nice pile of cash up top as well. Up, it'll cost them I mean, a lot this more. This new studio is sexy, man. I mean, let's call it the champagne room. I mean, let's oh, go. Oh, the champagne room, Fuck. Donnie Peters. I mean, if it's all, it's got all the gold and everywhere. I mean, come on. Can we do bottle service, table let's size? Go. Let's go. They are different cards. They are harder, tougher. If you uh, ever Can't make it down to the Pokego studio, you will see this beautiful new room on your left-hand side, just past the bar. Feel free to peek in through the windows. It has been. A long time coming for us to have this secondary streaming option. Of course, Donnie, Tim Duckworth made the PGT PLO event so popular that we had no space to even put a streaming table. But of course, massive demand calls for action, and action we took. And uh, as we speak, the entire main room is filled with people play playing the beautiful game of Pot Limit Omaha. Donnie, give some more context as to what these first two days have been like. They've been crazy. They've been, they, I mean, they've been great. I mean, it's wall-to-wall -wall action in the main room. We jammed 12 tables in there. They've been full for two days. Today you got the bounty tournament kicking off. I mean, this tournament is insane. Multiple tables are straddling. One table's got a double straddle on. <laughs> like, people are firing multiple, multiple bullets going after bounties. Over here we got a great final table for you. I think it's, what, eight events that we're going to be streaming from this PGT PLO series. So kind of just continuing that momentum we had from the first ever super high roller bowl PLO. The great game, front and center. All right, some action here on hand number one. Started off with one limping under the gun. Seems to be a theme in the game of Pot Limit Omaha to see some cheaper flops. Both wines, of course, stayed in the pot. Flop was checked around, and now Wampum betting 175K here on the turn. <coughs> a few new names, new faces for your regular Poker Go viewers. We'll introduce the players as the day goes on. But uh, Turevsky, meanwhile, calling Waltman's bet, bringing us to the river. Turevsky hitting a diamond flush on the river. Waltman whiffed. Let's see if he's going to bluff at it. <coughs> Definitely taking some time here, staring at the board. He uh, decides to check behind, and there it is, Tereski drawing first blood. Don, this could be a part of a trivia question a few years down the line. <laughs> who won the first ever hand inside the new triangle room? Yeah, who won the first ever hand? Who's going to win the first ever event that we've had in here? So, yeah. <coughs> Zooming in on Mr. Turevsky. It is, it is cool to see, Donnie, the wide range of characters inside the room right now. And I'm not just talking about this one, but also the main room. Uh, different characters than we usually see at, you know, the U.S. Poker Open and the Poker Go Cup. Yeah, I mean, I will say there are some of our PGT regulars are out there battling, of course. But then you have all just the diehard 
PLO enthusiasts have come out. Many people have come over from Europe, which is absolutely great to see. You know, outside of the oh, World Series of Poker, there aren't too many, <laughs> if, if any, dedicated Pot Limit Omaha series. I know we ran this earlier in the year in the spring. There was a ton of support for that series. A lot of people that missed it said they wanted to come out for a second time, so this is why we're here running it back. I mean, Potlum and Omaha is hot, man. It's, you know, we saw the numbers in, in the summer at the World Series. It, it was bananas for those events. So, had a pretty good turnout for the Super High Roller Bowl PLO. 38 entries in that first ever event. It was the largest PLO it tournament ever it. held in terms of a buy-in. So, <laughs> it's a great game, man. I mean, it's just, it's there. It's front <laughs> and center. Let's go. Yeah, yeah I always uh, party with your friend after. No, no, Potlum no. and Omaha no as a cash no, game calm. first they play a little format. Bit. Uh, by the well, way, Quang Tran right. raising it up with ace nine seven five. One here, two suits, one with the the big line with ace king jack seven. Go sleep. <laughs> we got the three five eight they on the clock, two see, hearts. For Bakar, I play like 15 minutes, and I win 45k a day. I need to stay all day. Yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I do you play poker now? <laughs> you should just play Becker. Pot. I think someone at the table. Just claimed they won 45k playing Baccarat in 10 minutes. <laughs> that is my kind of player, Donny Peters. Oh, yeah. Better early rate. Benjamin Juhas there wearing the green hoodie on the left-hand side. 32 years old from Budapest, Hungary. As we see Quang Tran fire a continuation bet and taking this pot down. Tran from Los Angeles, California. His biggest live result to date, $61,000 in a WBT Deep Stacks event <coughs> back in April of 2022. So Tran looking for a way to eclipse his largest cash. Love to see the fact that we have, like, like you mentioned, Donnie, people from all over the world joining the field. The gentleman who uh, claimed that the Baccarat tables were kind to him on your left-hand side. <laughs> Yevgeny Turevsky, 46 years old, also from California. Had a deep run in the World Series Boca main event this year. Finished in 220th place, $58,000. You might say that's not that deep, but guess what? Record-breaking field. Anyone making it that far knows what they're doing. Uh, shout out to everyone in the chat. We're live on Twitch. We're live on YouTube. If you have any questions for us, please send them in. Don't forget to smash that like button. This is our brand new triangle room at the Boca Go studio. Uh, Chris Wong says, oh, great. 14 more hours of Pot Limit Omaha. <laughs> Donnie, explain, please. Under. I'm taking yeah, the under. I know. I'm <laughs> taking the under. I know last time I said it would get done by midnight. It obviously did not get done anywhere <laughs> near midnight. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, this one, you know, not as player friendly of a structure as the super high rollable PLO. This very much more akin to, you know, some of the regular PGT final table streams that you guys out there might have viewed in the past. So I would say in the realm of three to five hours probably. You know, that's that's probably I mean it could go much quicker. Could obviously go a little bit later. Because this is part of a series <coughs> Players are going to want to hop in that second event. You know, they want to chase those leaderboard points. They want to ultimately gun for that $25,000 championship bonus that goes to the player that tops the series leaderboard. So they definitely want to get out there. So even if we get yeah, down yeah, yeah. to <laughs> heads up play and it's approaching <laughs> the end of registration in event number two, you know, sometimes players make a deal. They kind of speed things funny. up, try and cut it a little He's bit short so here. they can go <laughs> get over so. in that event. Action here on Terevsky. King Jack 10 10. Badoogie hand, but still, no. No, doesn't play those non-suited cards, of course. Pot Limit Omaha, not the same as just playing two hold'em hands. I know we have lots of viewers that might be new to this game. You have to use two cards from your hands, both minimum and maximum. So three cards from the board as Wantman looks down at Jack-Jack 9-6. Shout out to our moderators, Teddy, Russell, Christy, all in the house as always. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Love seeing it. We had 172 entries for this first event, and today a bounty event is ongoing. And, Donnie, did you set the line at the maximum amount of re-entries for one player to be eight? Yes. Unbelievable. I, I believe one player is in for four, maybe. Already? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy out there. I love it. 
I absolutely love it. Uh, late registration, I believe, open till 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. So you got just shy of two and a half hours to make your way down to the studio to play some Pot Limit Omaha. We are streaming the final table of, uh, of all these upcoming events the following day, of course. They played till pretty late last night. Yeah, they did. I mean, you know, big field, big turnout for the for the first event. So had to get them down to Five six. Feet. They ultimately got there, which is good. 150. Yeah, no, 120. Oh, wow. 125, it's tomorrow. <coughs> Both. It's a big jump. Yeah. Big Mr. Baccarat there. Yevgeny Turevsky. See James Colliver there brought out the mask for the final table. I don't think he normally wears I, a mask. So I have he's a either he's either doing two things. One, he's just protecting himself from any live tells, which is probably the more believable thing. <laughs> two, Ike Haxon's been winning everything in a max. Yeah. Man. I mean, I'm gonna have to start wearing one if I can run like Ike. I am in the market <laughs> for a, a T-shirt with roses on it <laughs> because uh, that's what brought Ike Haxton all that good fortune over the course of these last few final tables. Chris Wong, by the way, chiming back in, says, I'm cautiously relieved about the structure being a little faster today. Uh, Tran, by the way, limping in here on Colopy's big blind. James Colopy, our tournament ship leader right now. I mean, you can even see just by the, the blind level being uh, 50,000, 100,000. I don't think we hit that till like 11 p.m. in the super high roller bowl PLO final table. So. This one should move along. It felt as though the blinds were going backwards <laughs> at that final table. <laughs> Tran here flops. Top pair. Colopy, not much of anything here. No stab from Tran on the flop in this limp pot. Also opts to check again on the turn. Yeah, you're probably, you know, if, if you've been watching some of our PLO streams as of late, you know, you'll notice oftentimes players might take what is viewed as a more conservative approach for a lot of their lines. Just want to keep things on the lower variance side, especially when there are some more combos out there for your opponents to have. We'll see if Colopy here wants to take a stab at this one, likely thinking he's not going to win at all at Showdown. 300k in the middle. There is a bet. 150,000, so half pot, and Tran quickly gives it up. <coughs> Good timing there from Jim Colopy, three-time gold bracelet winner. Yeah, Jim Colopy, Mr. Big Queso, online legend from back in the day. <coughs> Took some time away from Poker Dawn to get his master's at the University of San Diego. Good but then for him. Came back with a vengeance and has had great results since his return to the felt. If you are catching us on YouTube, please don't forget to like this video. Let's bring this thing to 100 likes to start things out. Our first ever live stream from the Triangle Room. Uh, Andrew Whitney is asking, is this live or pre-recorded? We are as live as can be, of course, with a short delay for the integrity of the game. But yes, we are live. These players are Ooh, going to try and win is. this in the next few hours and then enter the very next event, which is also, you know, part of the reason why the structures are the way that they are, so we can get players into every single one of these tournaments because they're trying to also contest the uh, cash bonus at the end of the road. Of course, yeah, they wanna, they wanna try and play a maximum schedule if they are ultimately gunning for that series title. See Juhas here coming in with a raise. Ace, clean, eight, four, one suit. Folds over to Colopy in the small blind. Gives it up and. Where did the cargo? See? Terevsky's got a whole bunch of nothing as well, and Juhas takes this one down. Looking like a scuba diver or something there. All bundled <laughs> up. Hey, is it that cold in there? I'm not sure. I mean, it's, it's kind of chilly. Biggest cash for Benjamin Juhas. $78,000 <coughs> back in February of 2013. EPT Doval side event win, Donnie. You might have been there 2013. <coughs> I've never been to Doval. <coughs> oh, I never went there. I went to Doval once. All the years starting to blend together, but I was there for one of the EPTs. 
I believe that was the that was the win that gave Jake Cody the triple crown when he won EPT Doval. Oh, okay. Way back when. Yeah, Juhas has 44 live tournament results. Accomplished player on the tour. Caches all over the world. Wantman's coming in here. Under the gun. King, king, 10, <coughs> deuce. Love the fact that Walman came in for that maximum raise there under the gun after previously limping. Of course, very, very committal move there, Donnie, only leaving himself with 425k behind. Yeah, I mean, K Kings can be vulnerable, but he just wants to try and get this money in or get as much money in as possible. And Juhas, of course, doesn't have a decision really, Respect. but uh, wants to at least. <sighs> Give Wanman sure. the sense sure. that he won't be giving up on his blinds that easily. Take the respect. Up and down day to start for Wanman so far. I lost the pot early, but <coughs> now he's back up over a million. Colby still very much the chip leader. The man known as Bucky. The man, the fake Bucky, if you ask me. I agree, Donnie. <laughs> fake Bucky. Sean Buchanan, the original Bucky. Uh, if someone is. If someone is uh, up to date on the origins of the Bucky nickname, I'd love to know more. But Waltman well, a legend in poker. Been around for what? I don't know, 10 years or so now? WPT champion. Always here battling at the studio when we have events. By the way, before he makes his decision here, Mathieu Pro Provost from Quebec, Canada. Not from Australia, as his hat might <coughs> insinuate. And all it needs is those little strings with the cork pieces on it to uh, get rid of the mosquitoes. <coughs> he uh, is a professional poker player as well. 23 caches, lifetime. His best results, second in a World Poker Tour 500 event at the uh, wonderful Playground Club in Montreal. Is it 250 or 2 to 3? I'll take it. You had a straight flush? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost. Close. I almost have a straight flush, too. You almost had a royal, sir. <laughs> Provost taking this one down. And uh, that means that everyone wait, wait, wait. has now at least I'm won asking, one hand, uh, Donnie. After the 200 Friendly game of poker. Line, is oh, it yeah. 250 or 3? <laughs> Thanks. It definitely feels like we skipped one. Yeah. Uh, 75 one quarter, right? That's where it would be. Some of the Blesnik fans in the chat are saying, yeah, we want Blesnik. <laughs> tell him, tell him that on his social media channels that show. there's a PLO series going yeah. on. He yeah, would fit right in. Didn't even think about that, but he played some last time around, but it was more Fuck. towards the <laughs> second half of the schedule when the buy-ins got a little bit bigger. This page is smaller than the last one. Is it? Yeah. You guys are looking at page jumps? Uh, the last one right was there. 34. The last one was 34, you're right. I'm not looking so at it. It was 34, right? You don't know what they are? <laughs> I'm trying to block this. <laughs> yeah, you're right. What the fuck? So then what are we waiting for? Tran comes in with a raise. Ace, queen, four, deuce, double suited. Action over to Terevsky. He says no thanks. A couple aces here. <laughs> Was there a million stacks? Yeah. So, so three point one plus three. Double suited ace queen for Tran. Feels like a great PLO eight hand, Donnie. But I mean, it's just it's a great hand altogether. I mean, <laughs> a pot re raise here from Yuhas on the button, applying maximum five, pressure here. Five, These stacks five, are also five. deep. <laughs> Wantman would be more than happy to see. A big preflop clash, given that he's a short stack. <laughs> you lost this one before like to the flop. flop on that one. Me too. Second yeah. to chips. Yeah. <laughs> I was calling. Damn it. Fuck again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Juhas mentioned previously Big that he yeah, plays an clearly. extremely progress or er, aggressive <laughs> style. So I'm looking forward to that. It's very quiet in this room. Minutes. <laughs> it is. It's all sealed off. <laughs> You always play so this. You'll see a Tour FC wants to get in there with the ace, queen, jack, nine. One Can I get these hands? Yeah. Just playing the wrong game. Need five cards, huh? No. Looks like the answer is yes. He comes in with a raise here. 450. It's funny, Donnie. I can already see some different dynamics shaping up compared to Super High Roller Bowl PLO final table. Here we're seeing what? lots of preflop raising, <laughs> even some re-raising, and lots of folds in at that SHRB final table. We saw lots of limping and lots of people playing flop turns and rivers. Of course, the structure is different. There's fewer blinds in play. Uh, do you think that's a trend that we're going to continue to see here at this final table? I, I think it'll it'll play kind of okay. similarly to to what we've seen so far throughout the day. You know, I think players will look to, to raise possibly some three bets. I mean, maybe if we get down to two or three handed and it's it's extremely deep, then we'll see some more limping. But I think at this stage, given these stacks, you know, these players are just gonna <coughs> coming in for raises. And whether that's taking pots down pre-flop or you know take their hands for value and make pots larger so they can win some. Win some chips either way. Tran did make the call out of the big blind. Flops an over pair. He's also got that jack on the jack 7 4. Terevsky. Yeah, contrary to what the graphic says, I believe it's Terevsky who's betting. Yeah, it was, it was check from Tran, bet from Terevsky, and now Tran's in the, in the tank a little bit here. Wow. Huge pot developing here. It turns in a good spot here. 62% <coughs> going to the turn. King, hello. Pot. Set of kings now. And Tran just immediately looks at the dealer and says pot. Wow. Which puts him all in because he's got a little bit less than 2 million. Or just about all in. I saw, I saw that the dealer slide over that all in chip. Unfortunately for Terebski, probably just has not enough here at all to call. Maybe if he had the ace of spades in his hands, he'd be getting it in there, but... A little bit of a posturing here from Terebski. Sure, you know, he's not drawing dead, but... This is also not the type of spot you're looking for to commit your entire stack with. We are playing with those time extension chips, so you won't see any excessive tanking. And uh, there it is, Trevsky lets it go. Tran picks up a very sizable pot here. Galera, Galera. You didn't want to think about it a little bit on the turn? No. No wasting time. No wasting time. <laughs> that king hit, he looked right at the other pot. Pot, let's go. They weren't picking up the hands? Yeah. Just tuning in on YouTube or Twitch, please know that if you can scan this QR code on your screen, you get access to our special offer that we have in conjunction with GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. GTO Wizard is the way to take your game to the next level. Big follow. Don't miss out. Good follow. If you uh, missed the Top QR code, just go to gtowizard.com slash pokergo. Top three? I don't fuck GTO Wizard just launched a new no, we're not pot. GTO Wizard AI <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Oh. part of their platform. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can pretty much solve any spot and hold them so. ever. So I just put a, a USB stick up my nose, and I just get <laughs> to hold all the data fed into exactly. me. Exactly. And I believe they're they're working on, uh, within their roadmap, PLO coming, <coughs> coming eventually. So, Donnie, let me know when they add seven yeah, cards to that, okay? Okay. You got it.
Have a nice day off. Tell me later. Robert Lapointe, Donnie, maybe related to you in some fashion, says, I'd watch these Pokego vids for the Rinkema Peters commentary alone. Oh. Did you pay him to say well, that? Well, thank you. No, <laughs> I, no. I, I don't know any Robert Lapointe's, but Robert, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, I just want to emphasize as well that the payouts are available in the description of the video. I don't want to mention them all too often, but the final six are guaranteed $43,000. First prize today, 150000 and $500. We had 172 players in this 5K buy-in event. Playing down to a winner here on the stream today. And uh, Provost with uh, a nice bit of uh, offense there. The King, Queen, 10, 6, double suited. Got a good hand here, especially on the button, but he, he does limp in. So, you know, one of those spots where he doesn't want to get three bet. He would, if he were to open, you know, you have to consider that you're opening into the chip leader that is Colopy and look at Colopy. He finds the ace, Jack, Jack, 10. He's going to pot it here. Wow. After the two limps. Jim Colopy. Five seconds to make the decision. Love to see some fast aggression. Provost is like, I just wanted to see a flop. <laughs> like, my hand's pretty nice. You know, it's not the greatest, but it's certainly not bad, especially with the button. Like, Colopy using. The power of the big stack. Tran, of course, <laughs> trying to get in for cheap as well. Tran, Tran showed those two fours there. A little nod from, from Colopy. I believe he won an event at the first PGT PLO series back in the spring. I think he won the 10K mixed event. Yeah, Colopy plays all the games. And we saw, we saw a, a good group of players in the room today as well that are known to play all the mixed games. Oh, yes. Dylan Lindy, Josh Arie in the house. Yeah, Daniel Negroni is out there. Saw David Williams. Even got Cliff Josephy, formerly Johnny Bax, is out there in the mix. Joseph Chong. Joseph Chong is out there. Got uh, some of the Finns. Elias Parsonen. Yoni Yokomainen is out there. Roger Tesca made an appearance. Wow. Is the bar open? I mean, of course the bar is open. I mean, come on. Uh, by the way, Jim Colby, winner this year, this summer. So it's just the dress World, rehearsal. World Series Book of Bracelet in the $1,500 Omaha Eight or Better event. So this isn't for money, is it? Additional context on his four-card prowess. Dr. J asking, how many days has this event been going on so far? So all events during the PGT PLO series are two-day events. They'll play a long first day until they get down to the final six and then the following day like you're watching right now we are streaming that final table so this is event number one we've got 10 total events of which we are streaming eight correct yes because two of those are fun are funky games <laughs> yeah two of them are funky games but you know eight days of streaming i mean you can't really complain uh yuhas here raising it up to 350 and gets it done Little sign of that aggression Ooh. from Yuhas. The King Queen Jack Eight. Wantman behind him folded two queens in Zan. Also had an ace to go along with it, so Yeah, Wantman sitting on just six big blinds. He's gonna look for some help real soon. Of course you can be a lot more patient in Pot Limit Omaha than in No Limit Hold'em. Might see some more creative maneuvering of the stacks. The chat see it says it's a nitty fold, Donnie. <laughs> what, the ace, queen, queen? I think he had ace, queen, queen, eight, or maybe he ace, queen, queen, four. I can't remember, but. Listen, bi big pairs in Potlum and Omaha play much differently than they do in Holt. Like, you see two queens in your hand, two jacks. Yeah, they're all right, but certainly not the same as having two queens or two jacks. You look down and you see that and hold it. Here you see Tran coming in with a raise. King, king, queen, deuce, speaking of big pairs, is suited in spades as well. 
I could tell by Colby's body language that he was just hoping for anything playable there. That hand just not good enough as Juhas has Jackson fives. Motown, Donnie. Motown. Double D Motown. Double Motown. Double set value here for uh, yeah, let's go. the Hungarian. Zips it up. <laughs> Ace, 10, 6, all hearts on this flop. <laughs> this is not the type of flop that either one of these no, guys will be happy no, with. <laughs> there should be like a button under the table where if, if everyone presses it without knowing, there's a new flop that comes out. <laughs> because this flop, they both would have pressed the button. Action goes check, check. Card seven as well. Kings are best. Analyst, Juhas takes a stab here on the river. I would expect Tran probably just checks behind and takes that showdown. But of course, Juhas could go for it. He does not. All right, check, check. Kings are going to win. Kings. I like how Juhas showed the jacks with confidence, hoping that you know they would be good only assume that if Tran's hand was worse than Kings or Jack's even, that he would try maybe take a small little stab. The Kings still had some showdown value against exactly the type of hands that his opponent showed up with. Uh, three players below 10 big wands right now. Tureski, Provost, and Wantman. Nine, nine, and the six big wands respectively. Kolopi, the chip leader, with 55 big blinds. Especially Tureski and Provost have only won one hand here since the final table started, so we'll be in their best interest to maybe pick up the blinds and antis. Oh, excuse me, no antis, PLO. Oh, there, there's an ante. Well, there's a big, big blind ante. But it, it so the big blind ante yeah. doesn't count for the pot pre flop. Um, so if that might be tricky for all you math people out there, that's, that's why the pot amount might not add up originally, but then post flop, the ante is included in the pot. So a little bit of extra wor work required from the dealer, but. That's the way PLO is played these days. This pay jump, you just mentioned those short stacks. Pay jump out $8,500 right now. So certainly something that these players are going to want to try and outmaneuver their opponents with and lock up a little bit extra money. Juhas here attacking Wantman, the short stack, from the small blind. Wantman's got the jack 10, 3, 3. Juhas came in with a 3x raise. King, queen, 7, 4 with one suit. only imagine yeah. that with any, any sort of suited double suited rundown Wantman is in there trying to <coughs> yeah and then he just finds the <laughs> two threes to go along with the jack <laughs> time yeah <laughs> probably also knows that Juhas is going to be attacking him you know on the on the lighter yeah. side of things so you know just unfortunate he didn't pick up anything there to go to battle with if you're interested in learning more about the PGT PLO series we have live reporting going on right now event number two 111 entrants so far, 67 players remaining in the $7,500 PLO bounty event. Negrano just got eliminated, but this is a re-entry event until 4.30 p.m., so we'll see him back in the mix. Some other notables doing well so far. Dylan Wiseman, Yanni Yaukamayan, and Tyler Brown, winner of the Millionaire Maker. Tyler Brown was at the table with the double straddles happening. That's oh, why wow. he's got all those chips. <laughs> did, you, did you get sort of a $3 rebuy vibes in this event? Oh, it's for <laughs> sure like that. Winner of the first PGT PLO series, Lataro Guerra, doing well. Josh Arie, Joseph Chong in the mix as well. Yeah, Lataro, I mean, he kind of picked up right where he left off last series. He won three events. Ultimately, won the entire series leaderboard. He cashed in event one yesterday, oh, uh, last night. Got into the money, then busted out, and now he's making some moves early in event number two. So I would expect Lataro to very much be in contention for that series leaderboard. As we see Wantman here from the small blind, Ace King Jack Four. Gonna try and get his money in here. Got 
too. Yeah. If uh, Provost had been double suited, Donnie, do you think he might want to tangle here? Maybe. I mean, Provost is in a tricky spot because he's, I mean, he's ahead of Wantman in terms of chips, but he's not super deep himself. So he's among those three, Terefsky, Provost, and Wantman, who are kind of all just jockeying for position, trying to get that page on. 450. This, this might just be enough of it, though. Yeah, it, it is. So he's going to take a shot here. All right, love to see it. Over a million in the middle. Woman only 200k oh, left sure. behind. Mm -hmm. Queen, queen, queen. Oh, All right, that's not something you see every day. Oh, yeah, I see that. Woman with a lock on this oh, hand. Nice, <laughs> that is a fascinating PLO wrinkle there, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I know Woman didn't have anything there, but probably feels pretty good because Provost probably just gets <laughs> the money in with, you know, aces, Somebody. king, stuff like yeah, that. I guess. Yeah. So, Ooh, Donnie, get, yeah. explain yeah. to the non PLO yeah. viewers yeah. Yeah. why Provost had 0% there. there. Well, because you have to use two cards. Wow. Yeah, so the trips on board is something that you'll yeah. always have to use. So, he'd have to use trips on board with 9 8 high. <laughs> Nine high. Beautiful. I mean, that, ain't, that ain't gonna work out too well. <laughs> Beautiful flop be for Wantman. Who is even if even if a, a even fourth a queen came. <laughs> <Nine. laughs> right, it doesn't matter. So yeah. It GG. doesn't matter. GG flop. The Buccinator. All right, now Provost is the short stack. Five big blinds for him. Wantman jumps up ahead of him. I, I have to say, Donnie, cash games are fun. But the maneuvering in tournament play, the pay jumps, the, the sort of competitive go. battle spirit Doesn't that you have to win a trophy <laughs> or to get points for the leaderboard, I mean, that element to me is just what makes this game so fun. Yeah, I mean, Alex Livingston talked about it when he was on commentary alongside David Tuckman for a super high rollable a couple of days ago, but how... You know, cash games are just, they're very static. You know, oftentimes everyone at the table has the same stack or, you know, fa fairly the same stack. The blinds are always going to stay the same unless, you know, you're at a table where people are straddling. The blinds are always Eight locked in. In tournaments, stacks are constantly changing. You can't just top up, put more money on the table. The blinds are going to be going up. So there's a lot of dynamics at play. You know, there's the pay jumps. There's all that sort of stuff. So, <coughs> so yeah, the, you know, the competitive dynamics that are involved in tournaments. Why are we paused? I, I, personally, I'm super drawn to them. That's why right now, like, I'm oh. strictly trying to play Time tournaments to just because they're so much fun. There is obviously a lot of variance, of course. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah, very, very much different than the static nature of the cash games. Oh, that's a close call. Going up after this hand. No idea. That's good. <laughs> that guy doesn't look like he's involved in the production at all, though. I'm sure, he's a completely unbiased. I have no idea what just happened. There's a lot of rake to be collected in the, the knockout event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jim Colopy just gave off the biggest tell in the they history won't get of tells. One more dime from me, man. <laughs> He's wearing Not even a drink right, He's man. wearing <laughs> the mask for tells. And the reason why I can confirm that is because he just took it off to talk. <laughs> Have you ever seen Isaac Haxton take his mask yeah, off to talk? No, 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 never. Never. Jim Colopy. I mean, it. listen, if it's allowed, if it's within the rules, of course. you, know, you, you got you to get all the edges that you can. I mean, may I remind you of Phil the Unabomber lock and his, <laughs> his uh, general table antics pulling the hoodie all the way over his head, pulling on those you know, drawstrings. Chris, Christoph Vogelsang does a lot of it now. One of our most viral clips on YouTube is Chris Moneymaker imitating Christoph Vogelsang, pulling his T-shirt all the way over his head. <laughs> Always gets a laugh out of me watching that. A cold drummer says, no one is limping like that last stream. It's mostly a post-flop game. Yeah, this is the maneuvering of uh, shallower stacks you're seeing here on the stream right now. I mean, that that might change. You know, it's it's right now we have the haves and we have the have-nots. You know, we have the top three: Colopy, Uhas, and Tran. I mean, Colopy is well out in front with 42 big blinds, and then <laughs> Tran is just under those blind. three yeah, with 21 big blinds. So he's pretty <laughs> healthy. Then there's All a right, big gap. Yeah. <laughs> then Tereski's no, got no, seven. Yeah, Wong's yeah, got six. Uh, Provost well. has three okay. three big blinds. So I can't go all in. If 
the tournament kind of consolidates the, the fact that Terevsky, Wantman, and Provost bust out and all those chips are no up to the game. other three, then yeah, Let's maybe we'll see yeah, some yeah, deeper stack like play. Go. The players will start limping yeah, in a little uh, bit more and that sort of stuff. But one way or the other, we'll figure it out. Here's a look at our own, our very own game. Check out PokeGoPlay.com right now to get in the game and get, 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 get some action going yourself while you watch this live stream. Download it on the App Store or on Google Play. Poker Go Play, the easiest way to get into the game. Play for free, win real prizes. There you go. There you go. Can't hate on that. Uh, by the way, Yuhas so far off to the best start. Already up Ooh. a million chips since the start of play. Too Most late, of those less than an hour ago. Chips we were coming from Turevsky. Pretty insane. It also it probably be benefits Colby the longer that you see here. Colby, I mean, he barely looked at his hand and just said pot. I mean, I, and, and it was kind of like one of those, like, I'm going to pretend I'm looking, but let, let's go. Because he can just really put the pressure on his opponents here. The longer that this stays six-handed and, and kind of everyone else gets super short and Colby's extremely healthy, it's just going to benefit him. I think we're going to see a lot of this as long as we're at this sort of table structure here where Colby's just going to be the ultra-aggressive guy. He's got plenty of experience. He's been around the block. He's been at several big final tables similar to this one. You know, he knows what to do with a chip lead. He knows how to stay on the gas. Uh, shout out to everyone watching on YouTube and Twitch. If you're on YouTube, <coughs> please hit that like button. We're almost at 100 likes so far to start the day. This is our very first stream from the Triangle Room at the PokerGo studio in Las Vegas. So if you are curious about <coughs> this wonderful place, a legendary place in poker, you know, the players seem to love it, uh, come on down to the studio, check it out. Wantman here, ace, queen, jack, eight, under the gun. Still, of course, on the short stack, but looking a little bit better than a few hands ago. Here he comes. One of those committing raises here. Ice green tea, please. With, with Can we get lemon. A, water? a little bit of lemon, please. Actually, honey. Sorry, a little bit of honey. I don't know why, why, why not both? Yeah, I mean. I would do both, personally. Yeah, I thought you Honey and <laughs> Sounds amazing. Not yet. Later. All right, action over here to you, Haas. He might take a shot with this King Jack 9-9 nine nine here. Try and Four, knock five, out one. Five, five, oh, yeah, there, there, it is. there it is. Stack goes into the middle. Wantman does not hesitate. And we got our first all-in showdown here from our new triangle out. room. Wantman at risk. 50-50 coin flip, just the way the PLO gods like it. Yuhas here with a chance to bring this tournament down to its final five. I had a club. <laughs> I have two hats, a club, and a diamond. <laughs> Pug nine. Yeah, Pug nine. Yeah. I suppose see what I have to. Is that a roll? Eight thousand dollar pay jump on the line. Wait, Wallman looking for the start of what could be a nice comeback. But you got to win your flips, ladies and gentlemen. Eat your vegetables and win your flips. Very important in life. Let's see the flop. Ace, Jack, four, wow. two diamonds. Great situation for Wantman right. here. Yuhas down to just two outs. <laughs> don't see that too often that you're down to two outs in Parliament Omaha on the flop. Ooh. Turn is the 10 of spades, but of course, there's always a way to add some outs. <laughs> in this case, he added yeah. one additional out. Yuhas, three outs. A queen and a queen only will send Wantman to the rail. River card is the 10 of hearts. Thank you. Wallman survives, right. and Donnie, nobody at this table will be happy with that. I think well, Jim Colopy would be happy with it. <laughs> you know, Wallman doesn't double up to a super no big queen. stack. He doubles up to 14 big blinds. I mean, of course, more Four dangerous lines. than he was yeah. before, but I think Colopy like just too. really likes the dynamic that he's, he's faced with right here, so he's going to be able to continue to just really apply pressure and chip up pr pretty safely overall. You know, people are only going to fight back against Jim Colopy unless they absolutely have the goods. So if anyone's going to be happy, I think it's him. Also, I mean, Matt, Matt Wallman's happy. I mean, you know, 
Fuck, he's loving getting the double there. Probably fe feeling, feeling quite a bit less handcuffed now, and now it's just Terefsky and Provost who are sort of at risk of blinding out. I was going to say, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> on, on the ropes has never been more applicable than in this very moment for our two <sighs> short stacks. We're playing 100K, 200K. Thank you. And it, it? It's most, um, most important for Provost here. Thank Under you. the gun, next hand, he's going to have to put oh, 400K thanks. in. He's only got 725. <laughs> Terefsky is on the other side of the table. He has a few hands to kind of think things through, but it's going to be a struggle here for Terefsky to, or sorry, for Provost to, to make it through these blinds. Of course, the current stacks really handcuffing everyone else at the table with the exception of Jim Colopy, Tran, Juhas, and Wantman. Don't want to get too involved unless they have the goods. Provost. Sick to his stomach, probably looking down. You know, when you when you peel the ten, ten, eight with a suit, you're like, well, oh, maybe like a nine of hearts. Yep. You know, we're gonna go for it, but that of course didn't work out. As Terevsky finds queen, ten, nine, six, three clubs, that also goes into the muck. I mean, normally if if Terevsky's deeper, maybe he opens that hand on the button. But here, you know, he knows Provost is <laughs> gonna have to commit about sixty percent of his chips on the next hand, so. He can just make an ICM fold and take the cautious route there, of course. You was opting not to raise, just comes in for the call. I do think that this is a good spot to apply pressure on Wantman, especially with those two short stacks at the table. Juhas at least is double suited, you know, we're not going to call this a premium hand, but it's better than what the average big blind will wake up with. Yeah, I think um, if Wantman was still short like he once was, we would see what we saw on a, on a previous rotation where Juhas attacked from the small blind, but here, you know, Wantman, he has enough of a stack that he could find, you know, some more marginal hands where he could defend with in position. You know, Wantman's very good at PLO, so maybe Juhas just doesn't want to have to play a raised pot out of position against Wantman with a less than ideal hand. But here, you know, flops top and bottom pair, pretty good. Yeah, Juhas <laughs> goes for the uh, low risk route, bets out on the flop and takes this one down. Two hundred. Yeah. Provost, three big blinds. <laughs> he's gonna be paying. He's gonna be paying handsomely on this very hand. Yeah, this is rough for Provost here. He's really just gonna want to find something. <coughs> we'll see what. James Colopy wants to do too, because if Tran gets out of the way, you know, Colopy could just put in a raise with anything. And, you know, if he doubles up Provost, it's not the worst because he's only going to go from three to, you know, six to eight big blinds. You know, it's not too yes, crazy. Sir. So, Thank you. Well, nice of you to ask. <laughs> yeah, very nice. <laughs> nice guy. Yeah. With the mask and glasses. <laughs> Colopy <Callipy. laughs> does not do that, so. Tereski, hoping that Provost goes broke here. There it is. Wantman puts him all in. Like Provost it. doesn't have a lot of options, but he still has four cards. And wow. that is not a bad not hand to wake up with <laughs> when you're all in. But I mean, Wantman having that. the king 876 is about as bad as it gets. Yeah, Wantman just has a hand that... You know, if you're Provost, you just absolutely yeah, don't want to see it with, with your hand. You look down, you see the 8765, nice little run down here. You got one suit. I mean, Provost would, would rather be up against aces yeah. oh, of course. than this hand. Yeah, his, his suit is crushed. I had all yells, too, at 854. You? Thanks, Tran. I mean, you might as well just leave now, Provost. I mean, <laughs> That was brutal. Tran just ruining his life right there. He got 25. All right, here comes the flop. Provost at risk for his tournament life, looking for some help as Ace huh. Jack Dang. Nine like rolls Ten. off the deck. Ten for a choppy. Chop it out. Yeah, you can chop. A pair of fives at this point would Just no do five. it for Provost. Turn is the okay. three of hearts. Don't need a five. Only a five or wow. Five Only a five. Ten gives him a chop. <laughs> yeah, ten I for a chop. Five. Not three. <laughs> yeah. Five for a win. <laughs> uh, wow. Limited options here Just for the man from Canada. Can Provost Bingo. find 
a way out. He cannot. The king plays, and Matthew Wantman sends Provost, Macho Provost, to the rail. We have our first casualty here at this PGT PLO Series Event 1 final table. 5K buy-in. Nice return for Mr. Provost. Takes home $43,000. And uh, he's likely to just hop on over across the aisle to enter the bounty event that is ongoing right now. Event number two, streaming tomorrow here on YouTube and Twitch as well. Tons of PLO action coming at you from Las Vegas. Uh, all five, gar or five remaining players guaranteed $51,600 right now. And uh, Donnie, dynamics shifting a little bit. All eyes now on Turevsky. Yeah, all eyes on Turevsky. Wantman feeling pretty good. You know, he's got himself up off the bottom of the leaderboard. He's got 15 big blinds, so he's kind of bunched in mm. with Juhas and Tramp. Everyone's chasing Jim Colopy, of course, but now we got to watch Turevsky. A couple of hands, and he's going to be into the big blind, so... John Ward says, I understand the big blind ante speeding things up, but, compa but compared to having everybody ante, it really, really sucks when you're short in the big blind. Yeah, I mean, you can see it coming from a few hands away, hands away so might want to anticipate that situation where you have to commit such a large portion of your stack if you are indeed short. Uh, Colby, by the way, using his big stack, raising it up here to 475. It's also really beneficial when you're not in the big blind because you don't have to pay anything. You, know, you just get a bunch of free hands. So. Exactly. Uh, shout out to the chat. We got we hit 100 likes on the video. That is always a good start. Aiming high on. Do you guys say Roger? Alpha Bravo. <laughs> Jim Colby talking to our production team on the side there. But yeah, appreciate Boston everyone for tuning in. Boston? If you're uh, just tuning in, my name is Ram Karinka. My Donnie Peters alongside me. Send us your questions, thoughts, ideas. We're gonna be live here until we crown a winner. Maybe. You don't want to tell me you can't remember his name. <laughs> It'll probably help if you told me his name. He plays tournaments or what? No, he plays cash games. You're the short side, you just look down and you see trips in your hand. I mean, that's just got to be brutal. Also in the worst <laughs> moments, because now he's going to have to pay yeah. the blind and the ante on the very next hand. I mean, if it's trip aces, it's one thing. It's trip fives, not that good. Rational argument man in the chat says, did commentators say people are double straddling event number two in attorney PL yes, lol? Yes, I was out there. The blinds were 1,000, 2,000. It went 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. Then they agreed on the, sh the double side would be 6,000. So they were playing 1, 2, 4, 6. The table next to them was playing 1, 2, 4. Wow. <laughs> of course, those are all dead, but it is uh, it is a way to get some money in the pot. Yeah, I mean, the, the people, they, just, they love to gamble it up, especially when it's a bounty. That tournament, $7,500 buy-in. Each bounty is worth $2,500. Last year, we had a, a bounty as our second event, but it was only a 5K, so it was a little bit wonky. Remember, Daniel Negroni took second place in that event, and he was playing for, like, I don't know, 60K first place prize or something crazy because so much of the money was allotted to the bounty prize pool. So we adjusted the structure for the buy-in for that event, so it's 7,500. Later on in the series, we have a 15K progressive bounty. Oh, my God. Can't wait for that. How are they going to track that? <laughs> I trust the staff. I trust Paul Campbell and all of them. They got it figured out. But that's going to be... A pretty fun event. Progressive bounty. La Chaos Reign Supreme. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the best formats in online poker, so why not do it in live poker? Of course, a few more things to figure out, but yeah, <coughs> that final table will also be streaming live, and there's going to be lots of money on the line, Donnie, not only in those payouts, but also to knock those players out, which might create some, for some interesting dynamics. Yeah, I mean, in the regular bounty event, you know, you got to knock out three people to get your $7,500 back. In a progressive bounty, it could just take one, depending on how things break out. You know, somebody could have amassed a very large bounty, could be 20, 25k over there. You could knock that person out. Boom, you're looking great. So that's going to be a fun one. Uh, Trevsky here in the big blind, like we said, a high price he's paying right now, and uh, Tran more than happy to invest in the potential of claiming a scalp here, Kalpi not finding anything to play with as much as it pains him. Turevsky 
going to probably play a wide range of hands in this spot with such little chips behind. What a brutal spot for him here. Queen Jack 6 Deuce is about as bad as it gets. Yeah, good luck having any full equity left now. Yeah, he's, he wasn't in as worse of a spot as Provost was in because Provost had a bit fewer chips going into his big line. So, you know, it's not ideal, of course, but Tereski able to find a fold there and still has just over two and a half big blinds, 2.75 big blinds to work with here out of the small blind. Wow, Juan Macedas just sat down in the bounty Love event. Love to see it. Love to see it. Is that a four-way all-in? Yeah, four-way all-in. <laughs> just just now in the uh, <laughs> bounty event that just kicked off. Ronald Kaiser from the Thanks, Netherlands you. knocked out two players, claiming two bounties. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy out there. It's, it's amazing. Imagine if the World Series Book of Main Event was a progressive bounty. Oh, God. Imagine that'd be wild. <laughs> be like a four million dollar bounty at the final table. <laughs> wow, this sweat would be insane. I mean, they, they should run a PKO. I, I don't know if you could just because the mass of that turn. Like it's just it'd be it'd be nuts. But if they could somehow do it, uh, that would be wild because you would have massive bounties. Here you go, Tereski. Putting it all in. Yuhas I mean, has. Wow. <laughs> Not. But he's gonna, looks like he's going to take the shot anyway. <laughs> Best possible spot here for Tereski. He's got the spades covered. He's got the ace, queen, nine, eight versus the 10, seven, five deuce. Tereski at risk here versus Benjamin Juhas. 60, 40, basically. Juhas had to fold earlier against Tran on the turn when he when his opponent bet the pot after hitting a set. Let's see if he can get some chips back here on the flop. Jack 8-4 comes out on the flop. Odds for equities, I should say. Very similar to pre-flop. Juhas now seven outs. Turn card is Jack of Hearts. That's not gonna help his case. 18%, seven outs right now. A nine or a six, or he will hit the rail. River card is a 10, and that should do it. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Oh. I told him it's going to be good. He ah, faked you out. Nine. He faked yeah, me out with the... <laughs> yeah, queen high straight here for Tarevsky. I had a low weather as well. You'll know when I'm showing off. The graphics letting me down here. <laughs> nice double up there for Tarevsky. He's up to 1.3 million, which sounds better than the fact that he has six and a half big blinds. Was but good. hey, <laughs> really? yeah, still in I the game, that and that's all that matters. Five players left still, guaranteed $51,600. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything this time. <laughs> Jim Colby just continues to chip up there at the top of the leaderboard. Came in with just about $8 million. He's up to $9.3 million. How lucky do you have to be to hit an out that wasn't even an out? Wasn't even on the screen. <coughs> Tereski made his way through the blinds, now sitting on 1.3 million. Must feel like 10 million. Colopy here attacking from the cutoff seat. Ace 10, 8 7, suited to the ace and clubs. Tresky gives it up. Juhas gives it up. Wantman in the big blind here. Ace, king, nine, eight. Has hearts. He makes the call. King, four, deuce, two diamonds. Wantman flops very much the best of it here. You guys can see the equities on your screen. Nearly 90% for 
the man they call Bucky. He checks over to Colby. Colby probably just gonna bet everything here. Yeah. He's the chip leader, so why not? Not a straightforward spot here for Wallman. He only has Ace King on this board. No, no back doors to speak of. Pot. And he does pick up on the fact that Colby's range is a whole lot wider than just hands that get him into trouble. Yeah, Colby's range is probably pretty wide. There also just th a lot of turn cards that that Wantman's not going to probably feel good about. You know, if it comes off another diamond, something like that, he's kind of in no man's land with top pair. So I'll just get it in here and let's go. If you got it, you got it, buddy. I mean, <laughs> oh, something new today. Hope he wasn't lucky. Yeah. Today doesn't work. Yeah, maybe Wanted today. Now up to a hard. virtual tie with Juan Has Tran for second yeah. place behind Jim Colopy. After the first hand of play, Wanman was at the bottom of the leaderboard, and he's fought his way back since. We are five-handed now, so line's coming around a bit faster. I'm saying that because Terefsky here in the cutoff seat, a couple more hands, going to be back in that big blind again. He is the short stack. Juhas here on the button. Jack-7-6-5, double suited. He's going to limp in. Action. Wantman's coming out with a stab here. Top two. His king seven working on this king seven six. Two spade board. I feel like Tran, like, the, I feel like he's just here to play. Like, he's not really too worried about, like, pay jumps or anything like that. He's just like, you know what? Let's, let's, let's go. I mean, they got a straight draw on, on a board that contains a flush draw. Let, let, the heck with it. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, hopefully he'll, uh, Use the spade as a card to bluff on. Wallman does have the ace of spades, which sure. would work in his favor. This is kind of like a, at least it feels like a good and a bad card for Wantman. Good that he makes a full house, of course, but he has that ace of spades, so how many flushes are you ultimately going to get paid off by here? You want your opponent to you know, ultimately have the nut flush here. Tran ends up with nothing but 10 high here. No good. <laughs> you had three fives. I like that check there on the river from Wantman, kind of correctly assessing the situation, letting his opponent take a stab at it if he chose to do so. Tran just quickly checked behind, though. Didn't, didn't want to take go a chance it. to bluff at it with yeah. the 10 high. And Learned my lesson last time. I mean, Wantman picks it up. Let's put some respect yeah, on the name. Matthew Wantman had, from had short stack to CP second in chips over, over the course on. of the last two orbits. Extremely impressive rise for him. Helped, of course, by a clean double up. Now sitting on 5.1 million. What are you drawing out of one to what for the four. one to four? Thank you. By the way, 25K series bonus I for the overall winner in this event, in this event doubles. series. <laughs> Always pays to get yourself off that to a good to start <laughs> in these series leaderboard races. Mm -hmm. 
action here folds over to Tran in the small blind, a773 double suited. He's gonna make the call. Call if he's in the big. Call if he stacks still the same as <coughs> the start of the final table, just hovering around winning small pots. Colby checks his option here. Queen, Jack, nine, two spades. Colby doesn't have much, but Tran has pretty much nothing. I mean, he's got a pair of sevens in his hand. Colby sidestepping from his usual aggression. Just checks behind. Check. Very scary looking board here. Nearly impossible for Tran to win this at showdown. Colby happy to go to the river for free. Jack completes the board on the river. Colby gets the check mark. Probably happy just to show this down. Kind of like, eh, oh, maybe this is a little tight check, but I'm going to check it. You didn't think that was good anyways. I thought it was good. Whatever. <laughs> it sounded like you did. Save the confidence. All right, so it sounds like yes. there are a few minutes One, left in the level. What we do here is to prevent any sort of stalling tactics that might come into play. Tournament staff pauses the clock. They draw for a number of hands. They'll play that number of hands then to finish the level before going on a break. By the way, no breaks here on the stream, at least for the uh, beginning run here. We're going to cut the breaks out. We're going to keep on rolling, give you guys as much entertainment as possible on this beautiful Friday afternoon in Las Vegas. It's still hot outside. doesn't really feel like fall yet, even though we're approaching November. Hope you guys, <laughs> wherever you're watching from, are enjoying some nice fall weather. String back. Yuhas with the raise here, ace, queen, five, four, and Tarevsky's now faced with the decision. He's a short stack, he's in the big blind, he's got ace, ten, ten, three, one suit. It's an extra 250 if he wants to call. He's gonna do just that, so. Could be some fireworks here. Tereski's got 650k remaining in his stack going to the flop. King, king, nine. Two clubs. Tereski checks. Of course, we can see that Tarevsky is in a great spot here, but you know, with 10s on this board, no clubs, very tough to continue. This is the type of spot where you want to get it in off the short stack uh -huh. if you have that type of hand. And he goes for it with just a pair of 10s. This is why he's there and I'm here. What a fantastic move from Tarevsky. Gets it done with pocket tens. Well done, sir. Wow. That was that was a classy, classy move. The slide continues for Juhas <laughs> too. I mean, he's down 1.7 million on the day. He really hasn't been able to get anything to work out for him. Yeah, it's interesting to see that Wanman is up four, 4 million on the day. Everyone else except for Colopy down on the day. Uh, 
great read there from Jurevsky. The move of the day so far. By the way, if you're tuning in on YouTube or Twitch, let us know where you're watching from and one of Donnie's favorites. What's the weather like and uh, what, are you, what are you drinking? Yeah, what's, let's what's, go. What's going on right now? Let us know. See a lot of our regulars in the chat. Much appreciated. By the way, if you are new to our YouTube page, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have daily clips coming out on our YouTube channel as well as tons of live streaming right now. We're in the middle of it, but going into next year. This room... This brand new triangle room will be used a lot. I'm just going to say that. Will be used a lot. Uh, Colby here, raising the button. Ace-10, eight-deuce. Tarevsky finding kings in the small blinds. Ten seconds. Wouldn't be surprised to see him pot and commit himself with pocket kings, given Colby's reputation as an aggressive player. <coughs> Tereski and said decides to make the call. Gonna see a flop here. Tricky spot here for Tereski. Out of position, calling with the big pair. Not a perfect hand to play, but when you hit top set, all of a sudden your problems will disappear. Tereski with a fantastic situation here. Bets pot on the flop. Colby looking at the sky, frustrated with this move. Probably saving himself chips here. Kind of surprised to see Tereski just rip out pot here. I mean, what was it? I know a lot can change street to street in Omaha, but you have such a hammer lock on this hand. Not the biggest SPR, so it almost would just kind of let my opponent possibly bluff at it. You know, similar to what happened in the last hand against you, Haas. <coughs> I believe you're really only That's worried it. about the straight draws coming in, but I mean, you have a seven. Right, so you're oh, blocking okay. the six, seven, you stuff like that, nine, what sevens, etc. So, so you just say call next time. Like just yeah, you're, you're one. Oh, okay, so you're one. Yeah, Gany Tresky owes a little time extension chip, but probably won't be too concerned about that. Plays very fast, usually. Still five-handed here, the PGT PLO series, as we see uh, lots of people coming into the chat, letting us know about what is going on over there. Tricky. Nicolas Giroux from Quebec, drinking 7-Up. You just missed your uh, fellow Quebecois, Provost, busting in Push sixth place. Up. You double up. We've got some Spraggy fans in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> what time Wrong event. Just kidding. No, tell me what time you... <laughs> I don't want I you to double up. Oh, for you, my friend. Right when you're free tomorrow. I'm for you. Good turn <laughs> over there. <laughs> tomorrow to take yeah. lessons. How <laughs> <laughs> um, was so 3 p.m.? Okay. Your buddy, Kenny. How much per hour? Yep. Was, free for was you. deep on day four. Free 99. Made day four at least, so. Only because I like it. We'll do oh, it in the villa. This is the heyday of oh, right. being a poker Break. fan. Break. You can literally uh, watch can poker live streaming 24-7, practically. <laughs> I mean, you could. That is very true. Christian Frank. Says it's after midnight here in Hungary. Well, I'm guessing you're watching because Juhas is at the final table. Send him some good vibes because he's going to need some help. This might be a hand that gets him involved. He's got the double suited oh. jacks. Raises pot. He's going to get a large portion of the stack in the middle there against ace queen, ace king queen nine, three hearts. Action back on Tereski. He's got the look in his eyes of, I'm either going to shove or fold. Okay. Fold. Okay. Same colors. Yeah. Want to see? <laughs> of course he wants to see. 
I'll show you I'm mine if you, sh if you show me yours. Bit. Friendly game of poker, ladies and gentlemen. Juhas yes, thank you, thank you. drags the pot for the first time in a while. And look at these standings, Donnie. This is <laughs> literally anyone's game right now. You can see the players walking away from the table. They went on break. We are not going on break. And by the magic, by the uh, by the movie magic here, we return to the action as the blinds have gone up. We're playing 125k, 250k, and uh, the stacks are getting shallow. We're anticipating some all-ins. These guys are playing 30-minute levels. Let's see if we can send some players to the rail in this current blind level. I mean, Jim Colby's just got to be loving it. He's just oh, well out in front. You know, really no immediate danger ahead of him. Trapsky probably going to play this one. King, King, 4-4. Four, four. Has one suit as well. Trapsky, after losing that Six. last pot, getting three bet by Uos, is back to being the short stack. They're playing 125, 250,000 for the blinds. Comes in with the raise to 600K. Over to Tran here in the big blind. Like you mentioned, Donnie, does not enjoy folding. No, doesn't enjoy folding. Already had some money in, so getting a better price with those queens. King, Jack, seven, two diamonds. Top set here for Terevsky. Flush draw what? for Tran. Terevsky pots it right away after getting checked to. Now, Tran with a decision. Flush draw is always tricky to play in pot limit Omaha, especially when you don't have the nut flush draw. <coughs> back to back top set for Terevsky. Oh Must be again. nice. Just about all of Trevsky's chips are out there in the middle. He's only got 300k behind, so if Tran does play this one, it'll likely be for for stacks here. We saw Jared Blesnick never getting involved Wait. with naked draws. And good fold there. Else. Tran makes a good fold. Decides that this is not the right moment. Else. Diamonds? To make that kind of stand. I have four diamonds. Oh, wow. Good lay down. <laughs> Caitlin Jeffer says sets are pretty vulnerable yeah, in PLO. Yes, that ball. is correct. But uh, the the recent top set that Turevsky showed was uh, kind of a well-protected one. Yeah. Tran now the short stack, so a lot of shifting of places at the bottom of the leaderboard. It's been, it's been Jim Colopy on top from the start. Few quick shout outs here. Stuart watching from Tucson, Arizona. Dr. J is in the house from California. John Michael says Donnie is the goat watching from Salt Lake City. Donnie's got fans in Utah. Love to see it. Christy in the house from Michigan City, Indiana. 56 and cloudy drinking a cappuccino. See, that's the kind of weather for a cappuccino. Maybe some pumpkin spice in there. Some cinnamon on top. Back to the action here. Tran finds kings in the small blind. You're playing about two back? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Just makes two. the call. Action on call change. of each. Pot. Doesn't waste <laughs> any time, Donnie. <laughs> I mean, you got to love it. All right. Wow. These guys both quick with the actions. Tran moves all in. Sure. Does... Does all right mean pot? And, and, and <laughs> he said all right, and then Colby said sure. He didn't even say call, he said sure. Hey, yep. 60-40 here in Tran's favor. Pocket uh, kings deuce, deuce, deuce. for the at-risk <laughs> player. Deuce on the river. Huh? You, you know, I'm on the queen, 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 No matter what happens, deuce, Colby deuce, will deuce. retain deuce. his chip lead, <laughs> even if this goes south for him. 
ulti. Plenty of outs, especially if the flops bre flop breaks right for him. Here it comes. Jack, Jack, Tan. Neither player with a Jack. Colby, however, plenty of outs here. An ace, yeah. a queen, or a nine Same thing. would give him the lead. Turn card. A ten okay. of diamonds. Doesn't really change that much. Fifteen Flash. outs Ooh, now for Colby. Twice for you. Uh, Adding a flush draw. Once. Fifteen outs once. Trans termed life is so on hard. the line. River card. Here it comes. It is the yeah, three yeah. of spades? It might as well be the deuce of hearts. Quan Tran with a massive double up. Did your job. First real blow we've seen to <laughs> to Jim Colby. Really pulls him back hard. into the pack. Yeah. Now this is going to be interesting because Colby's going to have just about 22 big blinds up on top. Back in business, boys. Benjamin Juhas is the short stack. He's got 12 big blinds, so I mean, Juhas doubles up. He's in the chip lead. I mean, <laughs> this is this is gonna get crazy now. If I'm Juhas right now, I'm like, hey guys, what about an even chop? And we flip for it. Look at these stack sizes. From the bottom to the top, 12 bigs, 13, 18, 19, and 22. So anyone's game here at the first final table of the PGT PLO series. First ever live stream from our new triangle room. If you're just tuning in, we are coming at you from the Pococo studio in Las Vegas. I just cannot get over the fact how cool this room looks, Donnie. I mean, it's it's great. Battlestar Galactica, <laughs> right? <laughs> like some, some Star Trek vibes. Yeah. I, I love the new room, it's, it's spectacular. Opens for open for uh, title sponsorship rights. Exactly. So yeah. If, I don't know. If anyone's listening out there, McDonald's maybe. I don't know. Just maybe some <laughs> local butcher shop. You know, <laughs> Frank's Meat. The Frank's Meats room. I don't know. Let us know if you have any suggestions for the names. I of think this room. I think the ideal Peter. sponsor would be. Even. Peter. Oh. The Boring Company. We'll call it the boring room. The boring room. Okay. Aren't they building a whole bunch of tunnels out here? Yeah, I think so. Maybe we have a tunnel that comes underneath the studio. Drop the players off. What about you know? what get about someone get Elon Musk on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> what about you know F1 is coming to town. Someone call Red Bull. You know. Yeah, let's go. The Red Bull room. Red Bull's got a relationship in poker. They work hand in hand with poker stars. I mean, right? There you come go. On. Well, there you have it. We'll, f we'll fill the room with Red Bull, okay? Oh, <laughs> like like bottom to top. <laughs> Cans <Locked> everywhere. Hi, <laughs> Uh Tran, by the way, Donnie, continues to chip up. And all of a sudden, Jim Colopy, well, he's still ahead, but you know, no longer the big leader that he once was. <coughs> Eric says, I'm going to keep calling it the pinnacle room regardless. All right, man. Stick to that if you want. Uh, much love, by the way, to everyone tuning in on YouTube and Twitch. Payouts. Let's run through them real quick here. Next player to hit the rail, 51,600. Fourth place, 64,500. Third, 86,000. 111,000 for second and 150,000 for first. So... Lots of buy-ins up for grabs. We've had a pretty not nice big field here. A couple of aces here for Wantman. He's under the gun, makes it 700k to go. Everyone folds, and Wantman takes it down. It's very, very close at the top of that leaderboard now that Tran doubled through Colby. Colby on... 5.5 million. Tran sitting behind him, 5.375 million. And then Wantman right there as well, 5.175 million.
if you're in the chat with us, please let us know who you're rooting for. You've had enough time. You've had 90 minutes to decide which team are you on. I think we have a case to be made for all these players. Let us know who you want to see win. And uh, while you're at it, just smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Couple of kings here for you, Haas. He's short, so double suited too, Donnie. Yeah, good spot don't for un him. don't undersell it here. There is the raise. What does Mr. Wantman have? Okay, ace, wow. jack, jack, ten. He's got spades. Oh. He's got the spades covered. He's gonna pot it. You Haas is all in, and oh. here we go. No time wasted once again. Big all-in showdown here between You Haas and Wantman. Bucky coming back from being the short stack now with a chance to take the chip lead. Yuhas tournament life on the line. 5.5 million in the middle. And guess what? Whoever wins this hand is going to be our tournament chip leader. Lots on the line here. <coughs> Let us know in the chat who you're rooting for. There must be some Yuhas fans still watching up late at night in Hungary. Here comes the flop. Eight seven seven, not connecting well with either player here, but keeping you Haas out in front. Take it nine. Just yeah. extra out. Four out. Nine Four can out. give Wantman a straight here. Turn card. The six of diamonds. No diamonds for either player. Situation remains unchanged. Wantman needs one of his nine outs to send you Haas to the rail. Otherwise, the Hungarian will take the chip lead with five players remaining in this event. Here comes the river. Ooh, it is uh, the nine of spades, <laughs> and that is exactly what Wantman Ooh, was well looking for, and Juhas gets do eliminated. Juhas <laughs> going out fifth place, $51,600. <laughs> and Matthew Wantman, now the chip leader, and in a pretty big Thank way, you. he's up to like $7.8 Thank you. 2.8, or sorry, 2.3 million, excuse me, ahead of Jim Colopy in second place. So first time we've seen a different chip leader at this event number one final table. And it's that man right there, Bucky. Benjamin, Benjamin Juhas started. Like to be chip leader. Came into today with $400,000 in career tournament earnings. No Adds a day. nice leader. chunk of change to, to that, but of course yeah. had his eyes on the top prize. Remaining four players now guaranteed sixty-four thousand five hundred dollars. Well, double board. Yeah, it's good. Kyle, yeah, that'd be fun. We can do five cards. <laughs> Whatever you want. Maybe five. Yeah. That cards too many cards for me. You can you can have four. Four players <laughs> remain. Sixty-four thousand five hundred dollars is now guaranteed. Old Rummer said, sick river. Sick river indeed for you, Haas, all his supporters out there. Wantman here in the small day. blind <laughs> and the chip lead. King Jack 6-6. Six, six. He's got King Jack of Hearts. He pots it. Tran looked interested for a moment, but ultimately the ace queen 9-7 in the muck. Wantman's had a day. Huh. Up more than seven million on the day. <laughs> now in the driver's seat. Wantman also the most aggressive player at the table. Has won 11 hands so far at this final table. And we are only on hand number 38. Donnie, not only break every three now. is there cash on the line, we're also playing for, for points. In the standings, give us some context, please. Yeah, so all the points in this event, one to one on the dollar that you cash for, round it up. So first place being $150,500, that player will get 151 PGT leaderboard points. Those points work for both the season-long leaderboard and also the PGT PLO series Six. leaderboard. Six. As things pertain to the series leaderboard, the player to finish at the top that's the player to accumulate the most points <coughs> over the nine events that qualify from this series. We'll 
be the series champion, take home $25,000 in bonus prize money. You know, long, long way to go, of course, with this being event number one, but always benefits you to grab points and as many as you can as early as possible in these series. So all four of these players getting a nice chunk. Guaranteed $64,500, which is 65 points. Winner will start off with 151 points, which is a good, good start. Queen four, eight, two diamonds on this flop again. Sure. No one with a flush draw. Things keep going Wantman's way here. He out flops Colopy here. He's got top pair. Sure. Check, check here. Jack on the turn. Wantman now with two pair. Straight draw working for Jim Colopy. Colopy first to act here on the turn. Time extension use here <laughs> might be the longest tank we've seen from, I was, from a player at this table. I was just about <laughs> to say, we've not paused <laughs> in this tournament for as long as Colby has thought in this very moment. And he decides to fire it out, so at least we uh, we get a bit of an ROI yeah. on, our, uh, on our time here. Uh, I think Terevsky previously used one time extension, but it was one of those where, like, the time had just passed, and he put the chips in right at the same time, so he used one, but... This one was a legitimate tank before a bet here from, from Colopy. Comes with 925. Wantman right. hitting top two pair on the turn here, not going anywhere, makes the call. And we got a massive pot developing here going to the river. 3.4 million in the middle. Colopy not drawing dead, but Wantman is the favorite. River card is the Jack of Diamonds giving Wantman a full house. Adding a diamond as well. Doesn't really have any effect. Colopy doesn't have a big diamond to perhaps represent something. Colopy is out of position. A tricky spot here for Colopy. We'll see how he wants to proceed. Interesting river card. I mean, it brings a flush, but it also pairs the board. So. If Colopy thinks his opponent is on diamonds, does he possibly try and rep some sort of full house? I don't know. Could certainly see him just totally shutting this one down here, but I mean, there's a lot to fight for. More than 3.4 million out there in the middle. Of course, Wantman then sitting there pretty pretty overall. He's got jacks full of queens. Colopy does shut it down with the check. See how much Wantman wants to go for here. colpy has got a little bit more than pot left in his stack. The first real intense post flop hand we've seen at this final table. Wantman just deciding how much can I charge here. Even if Colby had made a flush. Likely that he goes for check there, given that the board paired. So one him perhaps thinking, if I go small here, I might get paid from a flush. Looks like 1.8. Quick fold there from Jim Colopy. Yeah, just about half pot there from Wantman. What, Gina, you want to be in the TV? Okay. Go, okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. You can sit. You can sit. Hell yeah. Give him two millions, please. We need you. A little bit of a yeah. graphics error at the top He's of the screen. That, that, that pop was a long day. Not called. So we'll get that corrected. Like Thanks for stopping by. As we go forward, but it's Wantman Dude, taking that pot. I'm grinding. You grinding, baby. I gotta grind these guys out, man. 
my strategy. Gina Reem makes an appearance, James the uh, is, uh, PGT Mixed Games 2 well, well, series well, champion. <laughs> Reinvesting. <laughs> Reinvesting. Yeah. An absolute a heater a little bit. on the PGT as of late. Yeah. It goes around. Thank you. <laughs> just, See you, buddy. I mean, you win a series title, you come in whatever room you want. The, you know, the heck with it. Exactly. <laughs> Chino Reem just uh, feeling out the room. He'll probably make an appearance later this week. Or later this series, I should say. We're going to play through the weekend. Chip counts at the top of your screen, as we just mentioned, are incorrect right now, but we're going to get that fixed. I know Remco sent a message to the team. Wantman's got, I believe, over 10 million in his stack now. Six. We just did that, Donnie, because we wanted to see if you can still manually <laughs> count the chips on the screen. A lot of years of counting chip counts. I know you have that experience as well. Com comes in handy. Oh, it really does. It, it mostly came in handy those times when we were graphics list or whatever at the <laughs> WSOP. We were just looking, eye, trying to eye stacks. <laughs> yeah, shout out to everyone who watched our uh, 2022 live stream of the uh, Stud Aderbetter event with no graphics way back when, when we were in the basement at the World Series of Poker. We've come a long way, Donnie. Now we uh, we've, we've got our own studio. We do. We do. <laughs> That's right. Call this the Dutch oven. The Dutch <laughs> oven. Wow. <laughs> uh, Christy asked if we're taking Sunday off for football or if we're streaming. We're streaming. <laughs> we're going to be here. Yeah. Also, I don't know if this other monitor here, one of these three monitors. We, we have two stats monitors, which we only need one. So one I think I can probably put red zone on or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, see, I personally love having – poker and sports on at the same time it's the perfect viewing experience yeah of course meanwhile action on the turn here small pot between woman and tran One point eight million in the middle, not insignificant, of course. And again, Woman with the check mark, hitting a wheel. Packet nine, no good. Bet. Quick fold for Tran, and Woman <laughs> extends his chip lead. Ace five, ace three, ace deuce, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. What. <coughs> you are correct. I ripped. Yeah, I had your title ripped. No? Oh. <laughs> I'm hey, give us some suggestions in the chat good. for Same. what else would be a good name for this room. We'd love to I hear some fun suggestions. For a check like flat, no. Maybe, you know, whenever someone mm -hmm. wins a series, like overall standings, it becomes their room until the next series. Yeah, I so like it. So it, it, it could become the, the Chino Ream room <laughs> at the end of the PLO series, for example. Tran. Single suited. Tosses him into the muck. Looks like James, James Colopy has about 3.6 million or so. I know it says he has 7 million, but he's got about half that in actuality. And Wantman's approaching 11 million in his stack. Woman, overwhelming chip leader right now. Colby was the chip leader for the majority of the last few hours in this event, dating back to early last night, Donnie, when he got a hold of that chip lead and started really applying a lot of pressure. Colby here on the button. Ace, queen, four, three. One suit. Trying to make something happen after losing that big pot against Matthew Wantman. And it is Wantman who's going to call out of the big blind with Ace King 7 6, Badugi. These two heads up again. Jack 9 3, Rainbow. Okay. 
pair of threes good for, for <laughs> Call of Duty? Whenever, <laughs> whenever, whenever I see the percentages, I'm trying yes, to stare at the card. What do we even have? Oh, it's just a pair of threes. Yeah. Took a water. Yep. Coffee, of course, loving that pair of threes. Jokes aside, goes for the bet and gets Woman to lay it down. Important for him to uh, rake one in every now and then. While the counts on the screen are still off, we're working on getting that fixed. Call P a little more comfortable now. No, that was the last hand one. So blinds up this hand? Uh, oh. oh, okay. It's one, two, or three? Four hand. Four. One's good. Oh, four. four. Nice. Good. So four hands have been drawn left in this level Before, before the blinds go up. Yeah. Still playing. 125,000 small blind, 250,000 big blind, 250,000 big blind ante. Is it four that we picked? Yep. This yeah. is event number one here at the second edition of the PGT PLO series this PGT season. 179 entries in this event. Danny Lee joining the rail. Welcome. Welcome to the rail. Two ninety nine a month, Remco? Two ninety nine a month. That's our YouTube membership community. You get your name in a cool color. You get special emojis that no one else have access to unless you are a community member. You get special content that Remco is dropping on a regular basis. Available only to our YouTube members. Jack 7 6 here on the flop between Wantman and Tran. Blind versus blind in a limped pot. Wantman checked the flop and Tran fires a bet, gets it done. Hundred and seventy two entries started yeah, in this event down to the final four here. I no cash yeah. Dollar, yeah. I got you, don't worry. Event number two yeah. is underway. You can just give her a file. I'll get you On the other file. side of the studio just in the main time. room. They're up over a hundred entries in that one too. I think they're sitting on one twenty eight, one thirty, thereabouts. Looks like Josh Arye, first player up over a million in chips in that event. Dylan Wiseman, one of the big stacks, Alan Lee, Chino Ream who you saw just pop his head in here, say hello to these players. He's doing well out there in that $7,500 bouncy event. So if you want to follow coverage of that, pgt.com has you covered. I believe today we got Tim Duckworth and Mickey Doft handling the reporting duties. And then tomorrow we'll be bringing you the final table live stream of that event. I know we had Cliff. Johnny Bax Joseph be out there mm, in the field. Let's David see. Williams, Daniel Negreanu was out there. Jesse Lonis, I Count saw him. Out. Alex Fox in, on, Sean man. Winter, Come in. Adam Hendricks, Jeremy Osmus. A lot right of here. our regulars here on the PGT, a lot of the faces you guys have come to know and love to play these high stakes tournaments. Going to be battling here all week, two weeks long. Chicken. Three ways here to the flop. Queen 6-6 six, six between Tran, Terefsky, and Wantman. Terefsky with the Jack-Jack 4-4. Four, four. Has the best of it right now. Tran checks. Terefsky checks. Wantman checks. Deuce on the turn.
checked again. It's on Terevsky once more. He also checks. Really not much of anything here working for Wantman. He's not going to take a stab, though. We're going to see a river. Jack of Hearts. This could be a little bit of an action card because Tran makes a flush, albeit 10 high. Terevsky makes a full house. He's got jacks full of sixes here. Tran checked his flush. There is 2.3 million in the middle here. Terevsky's got 1.6 million behind. Seven fifty. Seven hundred fifty thousand is the bet. Altman quickly out of the way, and now it's on train. He's got to figure this one out with his ten high flush. I wonder. Sorry, I'm. Sorry. Flush good. <laughs> I don't think that think man's going to give you anything, lost. sir. Jack and Larry. He does pay it off. He's going to see the bad news. Tereski tables that full house. Okay. I had six as full. Okay. Uh, Important pot there for Terevsky. Good jack. Good. jack. Picks that one up. Up to 4.6 million. Tran down to the bottom of the leaderboard now. It's like every pot here just changes the way things shake out. Tereski okay. there sized that one well on the river. Could have went all in because his stack was less than the pot, but opted for a smaller bet and ultimately got paid off. Looked like Tran was kind of on the on the fence there, whether or not he wanted to pay it off. He did question Tereski if his flush was good. He ultimately paid it, but had Tereski made it a little bit larger or went all in, maybe Tran is able to find that fold. So good sizing there from Tereski. Yeah, I'll grab it for you. Thank you. Call up here in the small blind. Nine nine so eight nice three nice. double suited. Donnie, nine nine. The German. It is. Cool. Call up he's gonna limp in. Just so everyone knows the okay. counts are still a bit off. Yeah, I think Call up he's working with about three point two million, may maybe a bit more. But between three and four million for, for Call up heading into this one, not the, the seven million plus that you see on your screen. So Tarevsky does have Colopy out chipped here. Queen 10 6. Tarevsky takes the lead. But Colopy's got some straight draws working here. He's going to come with a bet. 425. Tarevsky gives it up. If you're just tuning in and Stay watching us for the very first time on YouTube, spot. please make sure to subscribe to our channel. We have tons more live streaming to come here from this PLO series. Also, make sure to like this video. Let's let's get us to 200 likes here. It's still early in the show. We've got four players remaining. Lots of big-time PLO gambling to come. Nothing is better than a classic PLO all-in where everyone has all the outs. Nice comeback as well, by the way, for Terevsky. Him and Wantman both were down to about five big blinds at one point. Terevsky now on 4.1 million. Is this the third of four? Third. Action over to Terevsky. Ace Jack 5 4 in the small blind. Looking to see shot. a flop. Hmm. Thankfully, not you. He limps. Wantman checks the queen jack. I the game a long time ago.
Check, check to the turn. That eight gives Wantman two pair. He can't lose his hand unless Turevsky bets him off of it. Here, 375. That should get it done. It does. Wantman takes this one. 150. Three. Wantman is the current chip leader. We are fixing those chip counts that you guys see. That's on a reasonable screen. jump. Ooh. Wantman working with Thank you. nine Thank million, you. something like that. Nine point five, closer to ten. Somewhere in that realm, Welcome but back. he is the chip leader currently. Welcome back. The chips, in case you aren't aware, Break some those one. yellow chips are worth a hundred thousand, the largest Three denomination in play, and the purple ones exactly. are twenty-five k. New blind level now. 150,000 small blind, 300,000 big blind. Oh, you need to take your glasses off, bro. 300,000 <laughs> big blind anti. They're not working. No? They're not working. Like the guy told, I'm going to take the hood out. Maybe it's going to work. Because yesterday, I sit like that. And I win all the time. So the try. This guy? Yeah. The take out, and he busts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Changing your strategy. <laughs> yeah. Desperate. Mask off. Seems as though we've gotten to the bottom of what led to Juhas' elimination. <laughs> Thank you. Taking the hoodie off. Point. Did not work in his favor. Wantman here in the small blind, ace jack, 9 7. Comes in for the pot. <laughs> this is the most spaced out Badugi hand. Yeah, this is just nothing. 10 8 5 juice. That's it. Playing a different game for that one to be playable. Now, Tram's a short stack on eight big blinds. Players, of course, all going to be happy to at least have reached this stage of the tournament. The final four guaranteed 64,500, 86K for third, 111K for second, and 150 up top for the winner. I can guarantee you that all these players are going to be eager to hop into the bounty event that is ongoing right now in the main room. Just got word from Antonio Abrego, our photographer, that Daniel Negrano is on his 11th bullet in the bounty tournament. I mean, 11 bullets? Antonio likes to exaggerate, okay, so it's fair probably enough. more like five. You know, fair enough. Still. They have some food there? <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to believe him on this one. Remember that? World Series of Poker event yep. back in the day. I think it was a 1K. Daniel was in for, I think it was like 16 bullets or something. And I remember him saying on the broadcast that he needed to get like Same hand last time. third or something to break even in the tournament or so, something crazy like that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but yeah. All right, we got Tran all in here for his tournament life. King, King, 10-3. Jim Colby with a nice little rundown here. Jack, 9, 8, 7 with two Ooh, hearts nice involved as well. Yeah, this was limp from the small blind from Tran. Colby potted it. Tran repotted all in. Colby makes the call. Here we go. All right, let's see the flop. 10, 6, 4, wow. two diamonds. Yep. Diamonds Holy. working for Tran. Oh, Colby looking for a yeah. 9, 8, That's 7, or fair. 5. That is not a diamond. Queen of hearts to make it fair. Tran in a good situation a here diamond. to double up. Turn card Please. is the 9 of clubs. Colby hits his straight. Tran now looking for a flush. He needs to hit a diamond or else he will be eliminated. Can Tran find it? River card. The three of spades. It's not there for Quan Tran. He finishes in fourth place. Good game, bro. Good game, sir. Nice run. 64,500 is his share of the prize pool. And Jim Colby recovers from a bit of a slide. After losing a big pot to Matthew Wantman, we have okay. to keep making you guys aware 
that. There is still an error in the in the chip counts on screen. We're working on getting that fixed. We are working with a longer delay, meaning that sometimes fixes take a while to take hold. And the reason we do a longer delay is so that you guys don't have to sit through a lot of breaks. There's always a method to the madness here. Down to the final three, Jim Colby, Matthew Wantman. And I gotta get this first name right also sleep. because this man is new to me. Yevgeny, Yevgeny Turevsky, there it is. Turevsky the short stack on 13 bigs. Colby with a beautiful looking ace, Jack, Jack, seven. Yeah, I should see him coming Nine. for a pot size raise here. There we go. Turevsky's hand into the muck. If he takes this one, consecutive pots for him. It's funny how for the thumbnail of this video, I picked Colopy and Wandman, even though they were not no? one and two in chips. Right. And when it, when here we up, are, three-handed, no? two of the, the biggest last stacks. time I was heads up, I don't remember. <laughs> I know, it's been so long for me, too, I can't remember. Looks like Call Up is on about seven, seven and a half million or so. In reality, I know it says he has 11 million, but Wantman's the one that has around 10 million or so in his stack. Should be corrected in a couple minutes here, we're told. So apologies for the inconvenience, but we got you covered. Terevsky here in the small blind, 10, or sorry, Queen 10. Six, nine. It's going to limp in here. We have 21 million. We have over three. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Like three behind. Eight, eight, six, six here for Wantman. Yeah, it's 3.1. Okay. He checks. Fake out. Heads up to the flop. King, eight. Deuce, two diamonds. Good flop here for Wantman. Got that middle set. <coughs> Unblocks that top pair that his opponent could have. He doesn't have it, but could have it. Check, check. Nine on the turn. Tarefsky picking up some equity here. Yeah, picking up additional straight outs. <laughs> Double gutter, I guess, is what we call this. Oh, yeah. Can hit a jack, can hit a seven. Maybe he thinks there's a little bit of value in that pair of nines. I mean, six. we obviously know it's no good, but Tarevsky can't see the cards. Tresky's calling the 600K. Here we go to the river. Wow, big river card coming up. It is the ace of spades that is not going to do it for Tresky. Wamman gets the check mark, and with 2.1 million in the middle, he's going to continue to extend his chip lead. Wow, look at this, Teddy in the chat gifting 20 PokerGo memberships. Whoa, wow, from the from the top rope. Yeah, seriously, love it. Thank you, Teddy. If you're one of the 20 that gets a YouTube membership, you better be thanking Teddy, that's for sure. In the middle of a big hand too, Teddy. Love to see it. Here comes Wallman with the bet. Should be pretty straightforward here for Turevsky. Just left with that nine. Tresky 
taking his time, making sure that he folds before he has to pay a time bank chip. And look at that stack. Ma Matthew Wallman extending his chip lead. Were you a bully down. in school on the playground as well? Do I look like a bully? No. <laughs> of course not. Not in Boston. No. Of all places, definitely not. Look at this. That's uh, basically 9 million in yellow chips. 10, 11, 11, to be 5. Fair, I so did make one of my uh, app names, Bully Buck, just because I, I like the sound of it. Are you the kind of guy that gives himself his own nickname? No. I let people do that for me. Tereski in a terrible spot here, flanked by two experienced players that also happen to have a lot of chips. By the way, shout out to Teddy once again for gifting 20 memberships. Kalen Jeffers, Eric SFC, Daily Game, Kazizzle, Kazizzle, Cold Brew, Call 911, <laughs> Blanca Loza, Power Friend, Peter Wood, JHK Reborn, 8 Fox. There's so many names to mention. Uh, David Parsons, Christian Worrell, Andrew Scarcella, Kevin Wang, The Giggity Gig, Mike Lorberg, Dan James, QWQ, all were gifted memberships to our YouTube community, meaning your name is now in a cool color. You get special access to emojis, and we have exclusive member content on YouTube as well. Please enjoy some throwback stuff that we've added recently. Uh, Walma here betting on the ace 3 8 with two diamonds. Dead heat here on the flop. Look at this. A second three popping up on the turn, turning Colopy's two pair into a full house. Wantman looking for a four to make anything happen here. I'm betting 950 call you, Donnie, with the full house. Is this where you just slow play? Yeah, I mean, is, is the raise coming now or later? I mean, <laughs> All right, he does just make the call here. Three and a half million in the middle. Queen hits on the river. Call up, he goes from threes and eights to threes and queens. Complete whiff for Wantman. Terevsky, an onlooker in this hand, hoping that these two big stacks clash in the most dramatic way possible. It's never bad to be gifted a pay jump. Wantman, however, does not pull the trigger for any additional chips to bluff. Action on Colopy, deciding how much can I charge. Colopy again taking his time. We've seen him do this before in big situations. Reaching for a big pile. 2.6 million by the looks of it. Gets it through. And there it is. Jim Colopy. I guess that was a good turn for very you. Very nicely.
think uh, Call Up and Waltman now with much more similar stacks. Oh, Without yes. the glasses, you're going to see much better. If you're just joining us, event number one of the PGT PLO series coming at you from the Boca Go studio in Las Vegas. This is our new triangle room. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. We have a ton of PLO streams coming up. Let's see if we can hit 200 likes here in the next 10 minutes. That'd be great. Spread the love. The more people that like these videos, the more people will get served up these videos when they are browsing good old YouTube. Call up the ace queen ten seven on the button. It's gonna come in for a raise. Wama two pair. Eights and fours. Has he had this before? I believe so. I believe it was aces and fives the last time around. Two big stacks clashing again as Tereski with six big blinds is just on looking. And uh, right here, top set for Wantman. Boom. Call be drawing dead. Both players check. Ace hits on the turn. Also a third heart out there. Sure. This board, Donnie, doesn't really lend itself for Colopy to start bluffing, I'm assuming. He's got to realize that his ace here is extremely vulnerable. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure it <laughs> really lends itself to either player betting. I know Wattman has a set of fours here, has the winner, but almost feels like his hand is just more of a bluff catcher here. You know, you don't want to make the pot too large. Small bet here. Set. Feels like a little bit of a blocker. Gets paid off by the two pair. Look at that. Wow, great value here for Wattman. Call if he snapped it off there with A7 on the river. Four. <coughs> 400, Jim. Yeah. 400. I think one of those ones where uh, sizing was, was really spot on, you know. And bigger sizing. Maybe Call if he can find a fold there. Maybe he only gets more if he... Check calls the river instead. I, you know, I don't know, but how often is call up be checking it behind there? But well done from Mr. Wattman. And Donnie, you got a feel for Tarevsky here, who is basically <laughs> like a, he's like the closest spectator to this heads up match between mm -hmm. Wattman and Colopy. Yeah, Tarevsky's got just about five big blinds, five and a half big blinds here that he's working with. Not finding anything there on the button. He's going to be in the big blind next hand. Have to pay that big blind and the big blind ante. So, John Ward says he is so still. I thought my stream froze. <laughs> no walking's healthy for you. Know. <laughs> I like that. You're right. I do need to do some more walking. <laughs> Maybe not at the poker table, but Brennan is asking about the. Uh, 
flush draw, that it wasn't the flush draw, you need to use two cards from your hand. So unless you have two hearts, you cannot not make a... F <laughs> <laughs> Remco almost just fell on his face. <laughs> I, I almost landed on the IR. <laughs> I tipped uh, I tipped back a little bit too far on my chair. That was uh, that was almost <laughs> that was almost a catastrophe. Colby takes one down. Ten point uh, yeah. eight five. Exact. Yeah. There, <laughs> there it is. You hear the dealer getting. He's gonna get Mom to not confirm his stack so we can correct those. Ten nine those exact. Chip counts at the nine top. Nine Ten nine, nine is exact. Sounds like the count. So we'll fix Clark. that one from that error mm -hmm. that occurred earlier. There it is. Now I'm gonna go. There we go. Top of the screen. Exact chip counts updated now. So Wallman out in front. Called be second. I wasn't wrong about saying that it's a heads-up match with the spectator, <laughs> no, as I mean, Wallman and Callby got all the chips. One million. Trevsky's in the big blind now, so we'll see if he can find anything to play with. Wallman comes in with a raise here. Oh, He's you. queen nine four, makes it one million. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you a discount. Yep. Jack, 10, 5 deuce, double suited for Terevsky. Not bad. Well, it's not great, I'll tell you that much. Tereski at least is double suited. Uh, is this Does the not decide to tangle with this one. Tony, you're almost reaching Why a stage is, uh, where octagon. that's the type of hand you have to just go with. Yeah, I mean, I think next time around in the big blind, you got to go with anything, right? This time around, okay. Any trapezoids? John Ward saying, these levels are a lot faster than the 100K, <laughs> huh? <laughs> exactly right. Donnie and I said, we don't want to be here till 4 in the morning. Yeah. Let's uh, speed the things up a little bit. I will say that the structure, of course, faster because the buy-in is a bit lower, but also to allow these players to play the next event, late registration of that event, closing at 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. $7,500 PLO bounty event where rumor has it Daniel Negreanu has already bought in 11 times. <laughs> now, this is all speculation, but I don't think it's impossible. Check. The way they were gambling in that event. I'm Ron Burgundy. Jack three deuce here between Wantman and Colopy. Wantman got those pair of sixes. He's also got a club flush draw. Jack on the turn pairs the board. Helps Wantman out in terms of his equity here. Rivercart, king of clubs, checked all the way down here as Wantman hits a flush on the river. Donnie, of course, you can't fault these guys for playing a bit more cautiously, knowing that Terevsky is so far or like, so far out the door already, basically. Yeah. They really don't want to have a misstep against one another. Little bet from Wattman. 
doesn't get a call. And I see Jill Pollins in the chat saying, how have I never heard of any of these players? Well, you've been living under a rock if you haven't heard of Jim Colopy or, or uh, Matthew Wantman. Wantman, just shy of $5 million in career tournament earnings, has been on the scene for a very long time. His biggest win, the World Poker Tour 10K Aria Summer Championship back in 2019 for $443,000. And uh, here's a look at our beautiful shop. Check out shop.pokertour.com. It's your game to the next level. We got some sick merch out, I have to say. New super high roll merch available Six poker shirts, hats, hoodies, all that good stuff. Back to Matthew Wallman here. Of course, also very deep run in this year's WSOP main event. Finished in 29th place for 280K. Has made several WSOP and World Poker Tour final tables and came close to winning a Poker Masters event back in 2021 when he finished runner up in event number three to Adam Hendricks. So, yeah, no stranger to the big spots there. Jim Colby's resume, even more impressive. Pot. 5.6 million in earnings, but let's get back to the action here. As Turevsky sure? moves all in from the button, Waltman repots, and Colby. This is a pretty hand. <laughs> <laughs> Three-way all in, boys. Off, Come on. off to Colopy's right is a board that has the payout. So that, I think, is what Jim Colopy is looking at. Wow. He's going to be oh. devastated when he sees Wantman turn over the A633. Should I have my hand back? <laughs> <laughs> Jim Colopy goes for the tight fold. Of course, more than happy to see Turevsky hit the rail. That would have been a massive investment for him to see the flop there after Wantman repotted Turevsky here at risk. Looking for some help, all in with the queen seven five four. His suit also doesn't matter as Wong has my, higher my diamonds. Some, uh, protection. Jack five deuce Didn't would have given Colopy top set with king <laughs> jack jack. It just gets worse for Colopy. <laughs> uh, Waltman here with 18 outs. He is five the is favorite. Good. However, pair of fives at this point in the hand still best. Deuce on the turn five pairs the good. board. Yeah, queen 19 is outs. No, queen, of, queen of club. For Waltman. Queen of club. club. Is this a case Come of on. too many outs? Four. Bring me around. <laughs> Tureski looking for a double man. up. River card yeah, nice is up. the yeah. ace of yeah. clubs, and that gives Matthew Wallman a flush, and we are down to the I final know. two players flush. in this event. I had the nut flush. You can beat flush? I had the nut flush, and I had a boat. So, yeah, I'm glad I got you to fold them. <laughs> right? Wow. Did that not work out for me? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I could have won the tournament right there. Yevgeny Turevsky collecting $86,000 yes. for his third place finish. Jim Colby, Matthew Wallman <laughs> going heads God up damn it. for the you title. Have, uh, you know. I had a fucking flush. <laughs> and I had a full house. <laughs> Not only did he have a flush, he had an effing flush, okay, guys? That's, that's even better than a regular flush. Jim Colby folded King Jack Jack 10. In that hand, as we get ready for heads up play in this event, Wantman versus Colopy, let me know in the chat who you are rooting for. Let's start with that. Who are you rooting for? Guys are just lining up their chips a little bit. We're going to just uh, cut this break out and make sure play continues right away. It's going to be interesting to see how this heads up match develops as we have the two biggest names from this final table. Like I said, Jim Colopy, three time World Series Boker bracelet winner going up against the World Poker Tour champion, Matthew Wantman, going head-to-head. -head. Should be an interesting battle. Chime in. Let us know who you think is going to win. Donnie, who, who are you leaning towards in this situation? I feel like the momentum is with Wantman. I was like, pretty sure he's not talking. <laughs> I just... Uh, things have been just going his way. E even yeah. that hand right uh, there, you know, just the too. three bets to the pot, knocking Jim well. Colopy out of it. You know, Jim Colopy had a pr pretty good hand <laughs> there. <but laughs> Try to tell the taxi driver. The way the situation dictated, you know, got to put that one into the muck, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Wantman. It's gonna come out on top. It uh, would be it would be Wantman's first PGT victory, as you just talked about recently. He's made it to heads up play before. He's certainly been at final tables on the PGT, but never gotten a win. Colopy searching for his second. 
and his second PGT PLO title because he won one during the first PGT PLO series that we ran back in the spring. All right, heads up play underway. You can see the counts on your screen. Just shy of a two to one chip lead here for Matthew Waltman, who started the final table as the short stack. Yeah. Call became into the final table as the chip leader. So we got a fair fight on our hands here. Call be involved here. Ace Jack, eight three, flopping two pair. Walman with the flush draw. Got some backdoor draws as well. Stakes are high. We're playing 150K, 300K. Yeah, just about 40,000 separating payouts between first and second place. 150,500 up top, 111,800 for second place. Six figure payday locked up for each of these players. Ten of clubs hits on the turn. Waltman does improve. It's not enough just yet as Colopy's two pair is still in the lead here. If you're Colopy here with two pair, you don't wanna don't really want to be in the business of giving any free cards. This ten is still fairly safe, doesn't complete any draws. Quick fold here from Wallman, and Colby draws first blood. Heads up PLO with these stack sizes. Could lead to some very interesting situations. Lots of incentive for Colby to three bet. He can apply a lot of pressure given the stack sizes. Walman can't really risk making any missteps here. Very curious to see how aggressive Colby will be. We've seen him act fast, which makes it fun to watch. So far the poll, 73% thinks that Walman will take this down. Ten nine five rainbow on the flop here. Three hundred fifty thousand. Wantman bets 350, action on Colopy. He's got some draws working for him. Backdoor diamonds as well. Turn card is the eight of diamonds. Colopy makes a straight. Also now picks up that beautiful looking gut shot straight flush draw. Excuse me, open and straight flush draw, 10 of diamonds. And the 5 of diamonds would give him a straight flush. Call if he checks, hoping that Woman stabs again at this, perhaps. Check. Action does go check, check, river card. The 3 of clubs. Since Woman didn't improve, maybe chance for him to bluff at it if Colopy decides to lay the trap here. Or are we going to see Colopy lead out here? Ten seconds. He is reaching. 1.15. Some quick math here. Well, it's a quick fold. It is a, a very quick fold. <coughs> Call if he closed on the gap a little bit there with that pot. Two, four, four, nine. 
Shout out to everyone watching right now. If you're just tuning in, please don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tomorrow, Donnie and Brent Hanks will be on the call for the PLO Bounty Final Table, which will likely have a stacked final tab table, given that there's been such a large amount of rebuys from the big guns. And if my... I just asked if this chip count is yeah, correct. Yeah, I, I don't want to... <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, it says Daniel Negreanu has 2.5 million, so I just sent a message to the reporting team to, to verify, but... I mean, it could be true. The chips are flying out there. They're up to 141 entries. I think there's a little bit of time left still to get in on that one. I mean, they're definitely gambling <laughs> in this event. That's for sure. I mean, bounties are it. Oh, I, kn I know PGT Commissioner Tim Duckworth has dreams of running an entire bounty series. Oh, next, wow. Next PGT season. So that would be bananas. <coughs> I love that. <laughs> the PGT bounty series. Bounty should sponsor it. Have you had a bounty ever, Donnie? I thought you were talking about the paper towel company. No, <laughs> the, the chocolate bar. <laughs> the quilted quicker picker-upper. <laughs> I'm talking about these guys. <laughs> never. Never even heard of that. You never had a bounty? No. Okay. What is it? Is it chocolate and coconut? Yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Let me know in the chat if you ever had a bounty. <laughs> Is that, is that a European? The Chad's probably like me. They probably thought you were talking about the paper towels. No, I'm talking about <laughs> the chocolate bar. Has anyone, is, is it a European yeah, thing? I'm not even sure. Such a good chocolate bar. Meanwhile, has a battle rages on. Limped pot before the flop. Colopy betting 750k. 3.45. Ooh, 3.45 from Wantman here. We're playing some poker right now, ladies and gentlemen. Colby with the higher flush draw. Both players with a pair of queens. Wantman, however, with two pair, top two pair to be exact. Donnie, look at look at the equities. Look at look at the potential here. Yeah, this is this is a flip. I mean, could certainly see the money going in here, but it'd be one heck of a flip, is what it would be. Oh, wow. Colby moves all in. Wanman cool. makes the call. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a <laughs> massive showdown here. Wow. Almost all of the chips are in play here. Wanman has Colby covered by just 1.45 million. Mm -hmm. 20 million in the middle. Wow. This could decide the tournament right here on the spot. Look at those equities. 52% to 48%. We are flipping a coin for the title. Three of hearts hits on the turn. Wantman, one card away from winning this thing with two pair. Colby needs a club, a king or a jack. River card is the eight of spades. Bro. And there it is, Matthew Wantman, victorious in event number one. He takes it down. After coming into the final table as the short stack, what an amazing comeback. What a great Absolutely. run for the man known as Bucky. There it is, lifting the trophy. All Matthew right. Wallman collects $150,000 for his win in event number one of the PGT PLO series. Time, and look man. at that. Long time coming. Wow, yeah. Long time First coming. PGT title. Hey! Wanderman. What's up, baby? We got the trophy. Yeah, yeah. you got the trophy. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Jim Colby collects 111000 for finishing in second place. He started at the chip lead, but he could not close it out. What a fantastic final table it has been. My name is Rem Karinkama. Donnie Peters was alongside. The coverage continues tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it. We might get some superstars in the mix. The PGT $7,500 ELO bounty event. 2 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Sorry, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you tomorrow for more coverage of the PGT PLO series.